This video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. Yanaka Ginza Shopping Street Food 21 Recommended Food Choices. Samurai Junjiro Channel. Hi, I'm Samurai Junjiro, born and raised in Japan. This video introduces the Yanaka Ginza Shopping Street. We'll introduce a variety of restaurants, including new ones that have just opened and old ones that have been in business for over 80 years. We'll also introduce some hidden stores in narrow alleys, so please enjoy the video. Now, let's get started. We have arrived at Nippori Station, where the shopping street we are going to introduce this time. Nippori Station is only two stops from Ueno Station, which takes about four minutes. Nippori Station is a station where you can get on and off the Keisei Skyliner from Tokyo to Narita Airport. It takes about 38 minutes to arrive at Narita Airport. Because of its easy access to the airport, we recommend that visiting the shopping street introduced at this time should be your first or last day in Japan. Then, we'll head for the shopping street from Nippori Station. The closest exit to the destination is the west exit. It takes about 5 minutes on foot from the west exit. The signboard is now in sight. This is the Yanaka Ginza shopping street we'll introduce this time. Yanaka Ginza is a shopping street usually visited by Japanese people and is famous as a tourist spot for its retro atmosphere. It is about 0.1 mile long and lined with about 60 stores. There are also souvenir stores where tourists from overseas can experience Japan as well. In this time, we'll introduce 21 food recommendations near this shopping street. First of all, we would like to introduce this store, Mami's and Suriru. This is a specialty pie store with six stores in Tokyo. This time, we decided on the most popular apple pie. The pie crust is filled with large slices of apple. It has the flavor of cinnamon and butter. The apple pie has a nice texture with a slight sourness. It's a sweet apple pie containing custard cream as well. Next, we'll introduce this store, Niku no Suzuki. It's a meat based side dish store popular among locals. We'll introduce two fried dishes. The first one is minced meat cutlet. The size is large and satisfying. They use ground beef made from a combination of Japanese and Australian beef, and the texture of the meat is nice. It is also filled with onions and has a sweet taste. The spiciness of the black pepper is a nice accent. The next dish is the eggplant minced meat cutlet. It is deep fried with ground meat in between the eggplant. The fluffy texture of the eggplant is very addictive. It is deep fried in oil combined with lard, so it tastes richer than it looks. The eggplant tastes even better after absorbing the fat from the meat. Next, we introduce this store, Yanaga Manten Donut. This donut specialty store opened in 2012. This time, we chose the most popular donut from the seven kinds available. This one has maple syrup flavor. It has a nice smell of maple syrup. This store's donuts are baked, not deep fried, so they are healthy. The texture is soft and fluffy. The maple syrup has a nice sweetness to it. We also recommend the naturally sweet donuts made with pumpkin and sweet potato. Next, we'll introduce this store, Mitsuimo Kenkyu Jo. This store opened in 2022. And specializes in sweet potato sweets. This store steams and roasts sweet potatoes in a special oven to maximize their sweetness. This time, we would like to introduce sweets using this sweet potato. This is Daigaku Imo, which is sweet potato flavored with honey. 
It has a fresh flavor with cumin and Japanese pepper called sancho. The outside is crispy and the inside is moist. The flavor is moderate in taste and the sweet potatoes have a natural sweetness. The nuts are also included, so there are many different textures to enjoy in this Daigaku Imo. Next, we'll introduce this store, Toho. This is a popular deli with the locals. There are many different kinds of food available, but we especially recommend this fried chicken we are about to introduce. This price is cheap for three pieces of this size big fried chicken. It has a nice smell of soy sauce and black pepper. They use chicken thighs, so the chicken is fatty. The garlic and ginger are effective, and the seasoning is strong. Next, we'll introduce this store, Waguria. It's a store specializing in chestnut sweets, and sometimes it takes more than an hour to wait to eat inside of the store. This time, we decided to get the ice cream, which is available for to go. They put more than 30% chestnuts into this ice cream with freshly squeezed milk. The chestnuts are coarsely mashed to retain their mushy texture. The taste of chestnuts fills the mouth. There's also chestnut paste made from chestnuts on top. It's moist and has the natural sweetness of chestnuts. The price is a little expensive, but we recommend this store for chestnut lovers. Next. We'll introduce this store, Sharaku. This izakaya was opened in 2017, and lemon sour, which is made with freshly squeezed lemon, is very popular. What we eat at this store is jaga butter, which is steamed potatoes with butter. Jaga butter is a popular potato food, often eaten at festivals in Japan. It has a nice buttery flavor. The portion is large and satisfying. The potatoes are moist and smooth. The butter soaks into the inside of the potatoes. The dried parsley has a refreshing flavor. Next, we'll introduce this store, Atoriedo Florentina. This store opened in 2013 and specializes in French pastries called Florentine. There are nine types of Florentines, but this time we'll choose the standard plain Florentine. The crispy texture of the sable dough is nice. The sweetness of the caramel spreads in the mouth. The texture of the almonds has a nice accent. Next, we'll introduce this store, Hatsunea. It's a tempura specialty restaurant specializing in pickup. This time, we chose the prawn tempura. The price is reasonable for a big and thick prawn tempura. The batter is crispy and has a nice texture. The plump shrimp has a sweetness. Tempura with vegetables such as onions and burdock are also recommended, so be sure to try them. Next, we'll introduce this store, Kuroba Musubi. This store opened in December 2022 and specializes in dorayaki. They have a wide variety of dorayaki, including those made with red bean paste called anko and chestnuts. There are many different types of dorayaki, but the one we would like to introduce this time is especially recommended. There are strawberries in this dorayaki. It has a nice honey flavor. The dough has a nice, moist, and chewy texture. There are strawberries, strawberry-flavored whipped cream, and anko inside. The strawberries are less sour and more sweet. The juice spreads in the mouth. It is thick, but the texture is light, so it is easy to eat. Next, we'll introduce this store, Five Oceans. This store opened in March 2022 and specializes in hamburgers made with seafood. The shrimp burger is what we eat at this store. It has full garlic shrimp in a burger. It's healthy because it's grilled, not fried. There are four kinds of sauces available, but this time we chose the tomato sauce. The plump shrimp goes well with the sourness of the tomatoes. The sauce also contains white sauce and is rich. The shrimp burger is healthy but satisfying. 
next, we'll introduce Yanaka Shipoya. This donut specialty store opened in 2010. The donuts at this store are based on the motif of a cat's tail. There are 12 different flavors to choose from, but we'll go with this donut. This is a cocoa flavored donut. It has a good flavor of cocoa. The cat's footprints are cute. The outside is crispy and the inside is moist. There's custard cream inside. The lightly sweet dough and the slightly sweet custard are a good match. By the way, this donut is most popular at this store. It is made of cocoa flavored dough and filled with white chocolate. It may look cute, but it tastes authentic, so be sure to give it a try. From here, we'll introduce you to a service that allows you to feel the seasons in Japan from the comfort of your home. Tokyo Treat and Sakurako are subscription services for Japanese sweets. They deliver popular Japanese snacks worldwide. This month's box features the Japanese spring season, so we'll introduce them one by one. First of all, we would like to introduce Sakurako. Sakurako is a monthly delivery service of traditional Japanese sweets. It's filled with precious sweets that can only be found in Japan. Every month, they offer a different concept of sweets, so you can enjoy a variety of Japanese sweets. Let me briefly introduce this month's pastry. This roll cake is filled with strawberry-flavored whipped cream. It's soft and fluffy. This is Sakura Sweet Potato. It has the sweetness of sweet potatoes and the rich taste of the yolk. This snack is made of crispy pie crust and sweetened with butter and sugar. This bread baked with anko in the dough is perfect for breakfast. It also contains rice crackers made of rice in the shape of cherry blossoms. The warabi mochi with cherry blossom petals is an authentic sweet. This tea tastes of peach and hibiscus. Please try it with Japanese sweets. The glasses with the Sakurako logo are stylish and cute. Check their special Sakura promotion from the link in the description below. Please try Sakurako and feel Japan. Next, we'll introduce Tokyo Treat. Tokyo Treat is packaged with famous Japanese national brand snacks and soft drinks that can be found in convenience stores and supermarkets. They are all sweets and soft drinks that our generation enjoys eating on a daily basis. It includes Kit Kat, which is one of the most popular souvenirs from Japan. It has a nice sweetness from the banana and a slight bitterness from the caramel. The salty potato chips had a strong crispiness. Inside the cherry blossoms color snack contains a green tea flavored cream. It's nice to see a classic Japanese snack, umaibo, in there. This cake has cherry flavored cream inside. The rich matcha flavored chocolate gives a very Japanese feel. The soy sauce flavored noodles are also included in the package. This 100% apple juice is sparkling, so it tastes refreshing. There are also a variety of other snacks in the package. Try these trendy Japanese flavors. Tokyo Treat and Sakurako also include a brochure with information on allergy, labeling, and eating instructions. Those snacks are all authentic sweets that we highly recommend. Enjoy Japanese seasonal sweets in the comfort of your own home. Next, we introduce this store, Sangodaru Maruju. This bakery was established in 1932. What we eat at this store is bread with a ham cutlet in it. It has a nice smell of sauce. The ham cutlet is creamy with a half-boiled egg. It is a very satisfying bread. Next, we'll introduce this store, Nikuno Sato. It's a butcher shop that has been in business for over 40 years. In front of this store, they offer various kinds of fried foods. We'll introduce three of them here. The first one to start with is potato croquette. The 
The price is reasonable, so most people who come to the store buy them. Even though they are reasonable, they are filled with a lot of ground pork. The fat from the pork soaks into the potato, making it delicious. The next item is the cheese croquette. They are filled with melted cheese. The texture is smooth and melts in the mouth. By the way, the most popular item at this restaurant is the minced meat cutlet. When you put it in the mouth, the juices are overflowing. Beer goes well with it. Next, we'll introduce this bakery, Atomu. This popular bakery bakes bread in an oven made of lava rock. There are a variety of breads, but this time we'll introduce a croissant. This croissant is baked with almond cream and almond chips on top. The crunchy texture and flavor of the almonds is very nice. There's custard cream inside. It has a rich egg flavor. The vanilla bean flavor is great. Next, we'll introduce a fish store, Maruhatsu Fukushima Shoten, which was established in 1934. The scallops here are grilled on skewers. They are thick and plump. The saltiness of the soy sauce enhances the flavor of the scallops. The last store we'll introduce is Komichi, located at the back of this small alley. It's a coffee and ice cream store that opened in May 2022. It is hidden from the street, but it's a popular store on social media. The ice cream is a popular item at this store. This is milk-flavored ice cream with caramel poured over it. The caramel is poured on top of the cold ice cream, so it has a crispy texture. The sweet milk-flavored ice cream and the caramel with the slight bitterness are a perfect match. The salted almonds also add a nice texture. There's also ice cream with chocolate sauce, so be sure to give it a try. If there's a restaurant you'd like me to introduce, let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe to my channel too. Well, that's it for today. See you in the next video.